Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls, and this is our weekly angelic message. If you would like a personal reading with me, just go to my website at angelsouls444.com. Don't wait on that, just as soon as you feel like you want a reading, get on in there, okay? Also, I have another live coming up on soul codes and soul codes activation. So what happens when you see those repeating numbers? It's not just this intellectual interpretation necessarily. I mean, there's much more to it. What's happening in your energy field? What's getting uh, sort of ignited in your energy field? So check the description box for all of that kind of information. And I will be recording and putting up the December overview. So be on the lookout for that. So let's Let's just go to the cards to begin with. Okay. Oh, and I am, this is not solid yet, okay, but I'm toying with the idea of doing a podcast. I am uh, working on that. And I do realize that some of the, well, actually all of the lives that I'm doing right now through Zoom they, for whatever reason, don't allow people outside of the U.S. to join them. So I'm trying to put another thing in there, you know, even if you can't join the lives, if I can't find another platform to do those on that works and makes sense, um, we'll have the podcast, okay? So it's not going to be the same as the live courses that I'm doing necessarily, but, you know, like, for example, we can move the Hangouts that I'm doing on Zoom over there, that sort of thing. I don't know, I'm just kind of toying with that, and we'll see. All right, so the energy, the weekly energy, remember these are timeless. This is just when I'm releasing it, so there's the first one out. Outdoors. Mm, there's a lot behind this, we'll see. We'll get to it, though. Yeah, there, there's already a message of how we're blocking the blessings to come into our life. And I'm going to tell you right now, it's our ego. It's our ego and how often people want to find um, a spiritual solution to something that's going on in their world. But the whole point of spirituality is not to contrive or manipulate energy necessarily. It's about spiritual growth. And from that space having a clear understanding of how you want to move forward that's what I do in my personal readings so they're no they're not tarot readings that's not what they are <laughs> so um but the outdoors is all about detoxifying being grounded and embracing being human as well that's nature right sensitivity breathe so this is all about releasing old patterns. You know, I love these dresses. I really do. But they have shoulder pads, which I am all about. Except with me, I have a very short neck already. And so <laughs> I'm aware. But I still love the dress so much. <laughs> I really do. All right, let's get one more out of this deck and then we'll pull from the other. And you will see me batch filming. So you'll see the same outfit. I may switch out the decor for the December overview, but... Don't be thrown, okay? <laughs> All right, and victory. See, this is getting us down a path. It's trying to break us away from, you know, again, over-intellectualizing everything. This is how cults get formed. This is how um, people who have no empathy end up becoming supposed spiritual gurus or charm everybody into following them. It's disturbing. <laughs> it's disturbing. And people just keep on with it. Um, follow. People are following their pain. People are following their pain. And then that gets them into the lower frequency. And that's how they're susceptible to it. Okay. Yeah. So the crystal card is talking about... I always think this card is so interesting. Because I don't know if you're going to see it. It's kind of faint. But she has her hands over her heart... And to me, this always talks about heart healing, but look at the color of it. I like this color. I think it's pretty. It reminds me of like springtime, but it is kind of a muted. It's not the, you know, very vibrant emerald green you might think of or associate with the heart chakra. It depends on, you know, what your association is, but it's kind of a muted green. So this is showing our heart space being sort of at um, half power. You know, if you want to see it that way. All right, so let's get these in order here. And let's tell you what is going on here and what 
what they're trying to get across. Okay. So the first card out was outdoors. It's Archangel Jophiel. So Jophiel is about, is associated with beauty, but, and it can be, you know, outward, inward beauty, but it's all encompassing beauty. Okay. So it's not just looking at the exterior person, but you know, what kind of heart do you have? And, uh, you know, Jophiel again is associated with wisdom, just like Ariel is associated. Well, they're all associated with wisdom, but when we talk about Jophiel showing up and being about beauty, it's about seeing what is as beautiful and understanding what it's teaching you. Um, I mean, there are so many things that occur in our lives and, we, you know, when they first pop up, we might go, oh my gosh, that's terrible. You know, that I can't believe that happened, but it probably spared you from something way, way worse. Okay. And we were actually just saying that somebody... Uh, brought that up, you know, it's that whole idea that everything uh, on a live, um, it's the whole idea that everything happens for a reason. And so, you know, it, it is that kind of thing. Can you look, not keep complaining that things aren't looking the way you want, or if you feel compelled to complain or nitpick or whatever, you know, pull back and look within yourself and ask yourself, why, what's triggering me to do that, right? So that's what the outdoors card is talking about can you detoxify yourself, release your load by not seeing yourself as powerless or a victim of your circumstances, but knowing that, you know, when, when you pull back your energy and you do that self-reflection, we talk about that all the time, obviously, right? <laughs> but you, you appreciate who you are for what you are and you don't push on things, especially most of the things that we're always trying to manifest are things that this outside world has told us, if you have that, you are valuable, right? So <laughs> there's, I'll bark that, right? Um, but, but this is different. It's saying don't block the real blessings from coming to you. So if what you really want is uh, stability, okay? I think a lot of us want that right now. A lot of stability. You want to feel like you can own property or own your house. So, you know, whatever, whatever. You're not owned by anybody, like a, like an apartment management, like I, that's my situation right now. Um, you know, you might be thinking, well, I got to hurry up and get the money, get the money, get the money to get the house to do that. And really what you need to do is step back, be grateful for where you live. I have a cute little apartment. There's a whole sprinkler system in this place. I have a great view <laughs> and I'm in a great part of town. I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's near nature and all that stuff. So be grateful for where you are in the moment and have a joyful outlook, okay? Knowing this is beautiful and I'm so grateful. And one day, maybe not, not even say one day, don't even do that because it pushes out to the future. But, and I have my dream house. My dream house is here for me now. Or my dream situation is here for me now. And take the mind out of it. Take away, I know this goes against the... Don't get me started. The books that are out there that has helped zombify, <laughs> is that a word? <laughs> Make everybody zombies about even spirituality and how to manifest, right? This card, it says, go outside, get some fresh air and connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas. So if you see there in the background, they're all roses. That's Archangel Barachiel's sign to people. That, you know, all the blessings are already there, but you're so focused, narrowly focused perhaps on pushing a plan forward or pushing yourself into a dynamic, a way of life. I want to put this out there. If some of you are trying to find a house right now, at least here in the United States, the housing market is crazy. But if you're trying, let's say you're trying to push and push and push to buy a house, and finally, you kind of pull back and you stay optimistic about it, knowing the perfect house shows up for me now. The perfect house shows up for me now. It's perfect in every way. You might find that that perfect house is in a different town. And you might realize that might wake you up and go, you know what? I didn't realize that I got numb to my situation here or you know, I forgot that I'm mobile and I can go get a job in another city. You know, that sort of thing, okay? Because I think we do that. We get so stuck on 
you know, no, this is how my life is. And if it doesn't make sense the way I can see it right here with my little blinders on, then it doesn't make sense at all. Right? So this outdoors card, it's not just about go outside and get some fresh air. It's about manifesting. It's about allowing these beautiful blessings to come in. So sensitivity, Archangel Haniel, you are extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now. Honor yourself and your feelings. That goes right into the next card. Now, this is the thing that's also holding us back. We're getting way, like we're finding ways to avoid pain by maybe living defensively. We've talked about that before. But I'm going to go right into this card because it, it's a very, um, I keep wanting to say attached. <laughs> I don't know if that's the word, but it goes along with this card. Breathe. It's Archangel Raphael. So I just did a live, by the time you see this, I will have just done a live on the angelic self, the higher self. And it's not what you've been told, okay? It, I had a lot of great messaging come through with that, but it's really getting into the heart space and letting that be healed so that could be your portal, right? You have all these little energy portals all throughout your body and they have to be running at full capacity. When we get into this sensitivity mode, um, in the sense of everything feels like a hurt, you feel like a walking bruise and everybody or anything that comes into your presence feels like it's just immense pain. Well, first and foremost, go to a therapist, okay? There's nothing wrong with that. You know I say that all the time because not enough people are doing it and look at the world out there. Not that therapists, just because they're a therapist, they're already mentally healthy. You have to be discerning. Okay, so breathe. Archangel Raphael, take several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awaken your energy and to release old patterns. That's what that is always trying to drive <laughs> that message home to not just meditate. So, you know, I mean, obviously that relieves stress and, and all that, and that's great, but it's to heal your heart so your heart can receive messages and let go of those old patterns. We all do it. We all do it. I was just in the shower today and I had this epiphany of like, oh, this situation, I thought it was like out of my control. I'm like, I'm doing it to myself. I'm making it worse with my actions. What in the heck? I've been living like this for years. Why don't I just not do that? <laughs> right? So it's very easy. You know, I understand like we're all human here. It's very easy to get into a loop. And really what this is saying is to get grounded, detoxify, address anything that is bringing you pain, right? Anything you feel overly sensitive to or triggered by, address it, work on it, okay? Heal it. Let the old patterns go. And then what happens? Victory. Archangel Sandalfin's also about being grounded. And he's all about the chakras. Well, so is Metatron, I suppose, too. But this says, your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith. So immediately the feeling I get with this is we're getting in our own way and blocking the blessings because what we do is we send our prayers out there or we're meditating, we're manifesting, and then if it doesn't come in the time we think it should, we're upset. Or if this is the biggest one I get when people get personal readings, I'm tired of hearing X, Y, and Z. Don't tell me this. Don't tell me that. These are often people who have gone from reader to reader to reader to reader to reader. I don't know what their goal is there, but every reader has told them something they need to work on and they refuse to listen. And so they seek out yet another reader and they come in being demanding and controlling and saying, don't tell me this. I'm saying I've already worked on that. Clearly you haven't because you're still, <laughs> still looking for readings. Okay. So you know, that victory does not come in the way that we know it, right? Or the way we imagined it. We have to leave room for the universe to help us. And I'm even hearing now the, these angelic beings around. Sorry, I got the face singles again. Um, the angelic beings around are saying humans refuse to listen, right? And that's a long story. So we have gone through so many... Just take all of human history and everything that we have experienced as a collective and um, we bring it to this point and we're at the end of the road. We are at the end of the road and we are being asked to realize that we can, <laughs> you know, you don't have to keep on a road. You can kind of ascend up and, and keep moving and we aren't doing that. 
So what are we talking about here? We're talking about accountability. We're talking about do the work. We're talking about wake up to what you are doing to contribute to your situation for good or for bad. And if you don't like it, you change it. Okay. Then we have crystal, have faith and hope because there's something positive and new on the horizon that you can't yet see. Again, we're like in this mourning process where we're absolutely heartbroken because things just seem dire. They just seem so out of control. We don't even know who we are anymore. Or maybe you say, I don't even know who I am anymore. Or, you know, one of the things that I've noticed is that people will avoid a, what we call sentient, just words. Okay. I and mean, they're not just words, they have power, but like, you know, that's just what we call it for right now. That's our best uh, understanding of it. But raising up in our frequency. And when we do that, we get disconnected from things that once dazzled us. Maybe once, you know, maybe we used to really love shopping because, you know, shopping therapy and all that stuff. And then it just sort of, you know, you start to come out of that. Either you don't need it anymore or you're realizing it's just accumulating stuff, right? And you don't need that. Um, or you, this was a big one for me and I'm going to pass this along because I don't, I wonder if any of you can relate. I went from years and years ago feeling like I had to have the newest thing, right? Um, whether, you know, it wasn't really in my nature to go out and get the newest thing. It was social pressure. Like if somebody saw me in a sweater from three years ago, they'd be like, oh my God, you still have that sweater? That was from like three years ago. Like why aren't, get rid of it. What's wrong with you? Kind of thing. Now granted, I was living in LA and New York. They are their own kind of beast. But, <laughs> but you know, part of that was probably ascending and part of it was getting older and realizing, no, I don't want to be wasteful. My car has very few miles on it. And I've had it, how long have I had it? Four years? I will continue to have that car. No, I'm not going to trade it in for the newest, greatest, latest, whatever. I'm not doing that. I'm not going to throw out things or just upgrade my phone because people can see that I have the old camera on the back and not the latest. No. Okay. We have to take the earth into consideration. That stuff takes a lot of energy to create. It's wasteful. No. Okay. So you see what I'm saying? Like that's just one example where I started changing my perspective and not allowing social pressures to have so much effect on me. Right. So that's one sign. Or you, you realize that, you know, what once used to bring you joy no longer does. But it doesn't mean that you're completely out of joy. It just means like maybe going out and drinking all night just isn't fun to you anymore. And you'd rather be home knitting. And I, you may laugh at that, but I, there are young people who are like college age people who are like, I would rather stay home and craft, or I would rather stay home and read a book. I love you guys. I love you. You, you bring that energy and I love it so much. But, and you're not bad if you like to go out dancing and whatever. It, it, it's all good. But um, I think the whole point of this is that there are going to be a lot of shakeups. There are going to be a lot of things coming out that you don't recognize. That doesn't make it bad. Of course, always be discerning. But when we get stuck and the worst thing we could ever do is I know everything. You can't tell me nothing. That very mentality has kept, kept us prisoner of patriarchy. It's a lot of misogyny and racism and sexism and just hate of all kinds go unchecked. I mean, enough, right? So take that with you. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you like this content, please make sure that you are subscribed, hit the notification bell, and I have all my socials in the description box. And I hope to see you on other platforms as well. So I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Bye-bye.